Oh, howdy y'all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile discussion. 3.17 brought a bunch of new unique items, but it also revitalised one specific old unique item that everyone forgot existed. Black Sun Crest is an item that has probably been filtered out by your loot filter for many, many, many leagues. It's been in the game a long time, it's never been particularly good until now, and now you're starting to see it be used pretty widely. It's being used by 600 characters of level 98 and above at the time that I'm recording this video, of whom 221 are level 100. The reason it's being used is because of the new unique amulet Crystallized Omniscience, which is arguably the best new item in the game, or second best. Some people will argue Melding of the Flesh is better, but both of them are extraordinarily strong. Crystallized Omniscience turns all of the stat modifiers that you have on gear into something that still provides the ability to equip items at a slightly lower rate, but it also provides you with an enormous chunk of elemental resistances and, more importantly, elemental penetration. So this item becomes extremely strong both offensively, where it can massively increase the amount of elemental penetration you can get, uh, far beyond what you could normally get on gear, and also defensively it's no slouch because it just solves all your resists for you, which means that you can then have your suffix modifiers on other gear pieces do other things like provide stats for omniscience. However, the, you need a lot of omniscience for this item to be worth equipping, and to get that you need to have both flat stats, so things like plus 57 to dexterity that you might find on a set of gloves, and also you want to have multipliers to your stats, things like 5 to 15% increased dexterity, 5 to 15% increased strength, and 5 to 15% increased intelligence. If you equip a perfectly rolled Black Sun Crest, you will receive a 45% increase to your omniscience. Note this is not a 45% more multiplier, you might have other multipliers to your stats somewhere on your character, such as a notable passive Utmost Intellect, which is widely used, it provides 40 intelligence and 8% increased intelligence, which becomes 40 base omniscience and also 8% increased omniscience. When you do this, Crystallized Omniscience will pay you off in spades, and Black Sun Crest is one of the best ways to get these multipliers to your stats. So, how much should you invest in Divine Orbing this item? That is the question I wanted to answer in this video, because to the best of my knowledge, there's no quick and easy cheat sheet on how hard it is to roll various thresholds. Well, here is that cheat sheet. Uh, if you want a sum of 45, it is 1 in 1,331 to hit that. If you want a sum of 44 or better, then it's 1 in 332. If you want a sum of 43 or better, 1 in 133. If you want a sum of 42 or better, 1 in 66, 41, 1 in 38, 40, 1 in 24, 39 or better, 1 in 16, 37 or better, I'm skipping a few here, 1 in 8, and 33 or better is 1 in 3. So this should give you a bit of a sense as to just how special that well-rolled Black Sun Crest that you've looted is. You know, it might help you decide what you want to charge for it. But another thing you should remember, you don't necessarily need to use a Divine Orb, you can vendor three of the same unique to receive back from the vendor the same unique but with new rolls on it. So if you vend a three identified Black Sun's Crest, you will receive back one that has new rolls, which is basically equivalent to destroying the two that have the highest item levels and applying a Divine Orb to the one that has the lowest item level. For Black Sun's Crest that have bad or mediocre rolls, 32 and lower, they're no more valuable than minimum roll, and so you could consider doing this recipe on them. You can vend a three Black Sun's Crest for a Black Sun's Crest back. I don't believe you can do this with Corrupted Ones. This is not currently worth doing in Trade League, but this might change, and that's all going to come down to the value of low-rolled Black Sun's Crest and also to the value of Divine Orbs. However, I just want to finish by saying that current prices in Trade League are pretty bad for divining this item in general. I found this amazing one that you can see on the right-hand side of the screen here. Uh, this Black Sun's Crest has a double Corrupt on it, plus two Socketed Fire Gems, plus two Socketed Projectile Gems, two Corruptions that work together quite well. It also has a sum of 41, so that is a 1 in 38 roll, and it has two good uh, corruptions together on the item. How much do you think I paid for that? Five exalts? Surely you would think I've it's a 1 in 38 roll, maybe it'd be the price of 38 divine orbs, which would be something like 240 chaos orbs? No. No, I picked this up for an exalted orb. And that should give you a bit of a warning, that you want to very carefully assess whether it's worth applying divine orbs to a black sun crest. Broadly speaking, I think this is not a particularly lucrative uh, endeavour in Trade League. You can certainly try it if you want, uh, but you will need to make sure that you are getting top dollar for the ones that you hit that are genuinely good. Ultimately, you don't need to get the value of 1,331 Divine Orbs for the perfect 
45, as long as you're making something back on the 44s, the 43s, the 42s, the 41s, and the 40s, and so on. But you will find that the prices are not very favorable for this. And I was absolutely flabbergasted that I was able to get this beauty for Fun Exalt when I was expecting, you know, something as good as this might cost five or six. Anyway, that's all I got on Black Suncrest. Uh, this cheat sheet will be available if you want to download it from my blog, sergog.com. Otherwise, uh, Mega Valobs have interesting results, and I will see you around.